<clears throat> Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today, my special guest is a great friend of mine, uh, Jerry Voss. And uh, Jerry, would you tell me that why you're here at the South Pole Day and a little history about wh where you are, where your farm's at, and a little history about yourself? Well, I am 76 years old. I have, uh, we have, I've married and I have five children. We come to the South Pole Association meeting almost every year. And we, we love it because it gives us a chance to see all of our friends and to see what they're doing with cattle and to see what we're doing wrong and for us to maybe point out what they're doing wrong. <laughs> so uh, it, it's just been, it, it's fun. Yep. Well, I just made the announcement here earlier today. Everybody was in the tent and I got the mic in my hand. I couldn't help it, Jerry. I, I just stood up and told people we needed to acknowledge Jerry Voss because without you, there wouldn't be a South Pole Association because you were like a pit bull on Teddy, Teddy Gentry, the founder, to get this breed registry and association going. That is kind of true. And no, I it's real true. It's, I don't it's want to pat myself on the back. Well, but, you're very humble. Oh, yes, yes, that's me, I Miss Humility. <laughs> but um, Teddy had come to speak to a group that we had uh, with uh, a dinner, a luncheon we had with uh, uh, FFA members from three different schools. I think it was Bell, Fatima, and Lynn. And he said to me, we were having people sign in, and he said to me, now you keep these names and addresses because someday I want to start an association and we'll use this to start with. So I thought, well, that's a good idea. But then as time went on, he didn't say any more about it. And so I for some reason, he had given me his phone number, which was probably a mistake on his part. <laughs> but I would call him from time to time and say, are you making any progress on this? Are you doing anything? Well, no, Miss Jerry, I'm, I'm, I'm still working on this and that and the other. But no, the long and short of it was he didn't. And I did kind of keep after him and I said, Teddy, my point was Teddy and Dave Roberts knew so much about this breed and what happened when they died, if they were killed in, a, in an automobile crash or, or if they just died of old age, all of us die. And I said, everything you've done will be for nothing. Right. And so um, I finally, oh, it was a long time coming, but I, I did, I wrote him a letter. I gave up on him and I wrote him a letter. <laughs> and I said, these are the 10 things you need to do. And I listed them all in order and everything. And I didn't hear anything from him back. And I thought, well, that's that. I've done just about everything I can do. And then one day, Dave Roberts called out of the clear blue sky and said, can you come down to a meeting on such and such a date? And we're going to start an association. And that was at Teddy's farm. It was at Teddy's farm. Fort, yes. Fort Payne, Alabama. At Burt's barn. And I thought, hot damn, he's done it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that's, that's how it started. Yeah. And well, you were there at that meeting. Yes. He invited our, some people that had been interested. You yeah. were there. Well, you know, Jerry, we've been over there reminiscing over all the different years. We went to different meetings in the early days of the South Pole Association. And you made the comment, you know, Greg, we've just had some wonderful times. We did. And we, uh, we did. To look back today, we have far this organization has grown. And today there's, I don't know, between six and 700 people out here. And it was all a thought and a lot of work. I mean, it went a lot of work from you. You owned a newspaper. I did. I owned the Unterrified Democrat, and I worked there for 50 years. 50 it was years? A, it was a Republican newspaper, I have to add. But the name of it was the Unterrified Democrat. It was started during the Civil War. It started like in 1861 or No something. way. Yes, yes. And it was a very, I loved it. I loved working there. I, I liked being my own boss. But I felt like I gave my readers um, their money's worth. They paid 75 cents for the paper, and I always wanted to make sure they got 75 cents worth of news. <laughs> <laughs> well, and your husband, Ralph, he wrote uh, every day, or every, every newspaper, he had a section in there, too. He did. He had a, a personal column in it, and that went well. Ralph really um, was elected as the Associate Circuit Court Judge, so he didn't have much time but he right. did he did do a column yep. and then later on after he retired as judge after 24 years as judge he started going to some uh, night meetings for me the city town board meetings mm -hmm. for me and uh, he didn't charge and that made it even more attractive <laughs> <laughs>
Well, you, uh, you ran a very successful business and I think that really aided you a lot when you did this, when you brought on, I mean, you were, you were getting people going this way and that way early days and we did, we did. I mean, we had, we, we kind of all gelled together. The people that came to that first meeting all took a hand in it. And I ended up writing a newsletter that came out once a month or once every six weeks or something. And we put it up on the, uh, on the website. Yep. It might, some of those might still be up there. Yep. And uh, I know some of Ralph's stories are still on the Voss Land and Cattle website. Well, uh, Ralph has really got into regenerative ag and the dung beetles and the yes. soil life and the raw milk. He was always pushing the envelope. Yes. Trying to do something better for y'all's farm. You all yes. have a beautiful farm over the Gasconade River Valley. And mm -hmm. it's just a beautiful area out there. Well, it is. And we love it. As a matter of fact, we spend a lot of time out there um, the one thing I will say is you have to like your spouse a lot to spend that much time together <laughs> and, and not with other people. But apparently that happens for us, but uh, we, we just love being at the farm. I really like working with the cows. Those cows have personalities, each and every one of them. And uh, I, I'll tell you something funny. I was walking the other day and I walked from the cabin up a mountain and then walked to the county road. It's about three miles every Good day. Land. And um, as I got to where the cows were, they were in a savanna on the left side of the road and mm -hmm. I was just going down the road. I was walking to the county road and I noticed they were following me. And they were, they were, there was a fence between us, but they were on the other side of the fence and I was in the road. <laughs> and Ralph said, why do you think they do that? And I said, well, I think maybe they like Leonard Skinner. I don't know. <laughs> That's what you were playing? That's what I was listening to. And they were just coming right along and they went all the way to the county road with me. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Well, Jerry, I, I promise not to take too much of your time, but I wanted to share with folks why we have a South Pole Breeders Association. It's all because of Miss Jerry Voss, Mrs. Jerry Voss. And what is the name of your cattle company? So if anybody is interested in really high quality South Poles, you can go to their website. What's the name of your website? Voss Land and Cattle Company. And my husband's name is Ralph. Okay, Voss Land and Cattle Company, folks. If you're looking for some really high quality breeding stock, uh, look no further than their farm. And uh, thanks, thank you all for watching this. And on the way out, if y'all hit the subscribe button, that'd be awesome. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank all you, right. Je thank you, Jerry. Thank you.